Hey guys, we're watching Volgor's videos and I got a pretty bad haircut going on, don't I? Uh, yeah. Woo! <clears throat> wow. There's my hat hair, what it looks like without a hat on it. Anyways, I thought today I'll do a real quick review on. Anyways, my uh, flame gun. It's pretty awesome. I got this, I believe it was $7, and I did, I think I did a lighter, yeah, I did a lighter collection video, but I never really stopped and talked much about this specific lighter. Um, if you, I think anybody that, that collects lighters that, uh, that smokes or lights things on fire, everybody should have one of these. Um, I got lucky, it was at a Goodwill, um, I said that before, but, you know, if you, it's the first time you've seen me. Wow, I look like a goober. Um, anyways, this thing works pretty awesome. Basically, here's your buttons. This is your uh, ignite or your fire button. Fire, fire. And then right there is your safety switch, which is a pain in the ass. You have to pull it down every time to turn it on. I think it's kind of stupid because look. Yeah, this lighter, yeah, it's not a torch, but still you just push down, hold down the button. And this, you have to push down that and then push that in. Now it works first time every time as long as there's fuel in it. And yeah. Um, you can also push down the safety and then have the continuous on. So then you just there. Then put the continuous on. And then you can set it down and you set up for well, hands free. And you can go woo 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 I'm burning my hands. Or, woo, I'm burning the candle. Come on, here we are. Woo. All right, so basically, what's the, the ins and outs of this? The, um, the good thing is, it works fantastic for lighting candles and bowls, fires, whatever. You turn this little knob right here, and uh, you can dial in how much, uh, what type of flame you want. Just have a, a long, gentle flame like that somewhere between or back to the torch flame um, and then you got this little dial right here that is for your gas minus plus minus less fuel plus more fuel I usually like to have it pretty far down to conserve because what I have in here is the last fuel I have and hopefully I'll be getting some today unless, unless I don't have enough money or I forget Hopefully I won't forget because, um, yeah, I really like my butane lighters. Um, I think this is safe too for if you drop it. No, I guess not. No, if you drop this, I thought it's supposed to turn off, but I guess it has to have more of a, more of a shock to it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, there you go. I don't want to break it. Ow, it's pretty hot. Um, what's some of the ignition slide child resistant safety slash downward press blah 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 activate continuous flame I already showed off that extinguishing press ignition button again this will extinguish the flame what uh really press ignition button again this will extinguish the flame mm, I don't think it does I'm pushing a button in. I mean, if you hold, if you don't have this uh, continuous on, you let go, it'll turn off. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, pretty much everything else is yeah. I already explained it. Um, micro torch, Roburn MT seven seven zero P. I think these are about twenty thirty bucks, but I spent seven. I got really lucky. Some guy at Goodwill said, uh, "Oh, that that's uh." That's a CO2 gun where you shoot air into your tires. I'm like, really? That's not stupid. So I didn't get it. And then uh, Ryan, my friend, uh, bought it. And uh, basically we traded off. I got him a tool, a little tool screwdriver set. Anyways, yeah. So it's pretty cool. I think anybody that, that collects, plays with lighters, really, well, technically not supposed to play with lighters, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? 
play with lighters. Whatever. As long as you're not a kid, you're playing with lighters. I don't know, whatever. Um, so, my pros and cons. Pros, it's a great little thing. It's it's perfect size. Um, you can dial on whatever you want. The flame lasts a long time. It's powerful. I've melted holes in things and, you know, arts and crafts. It's good for that. The negative is, I don't really like the design of the button and the safety setup. Like, every time, pull that down, push it in. And then you have to hold down this red button until you put the safety on. But then, if you drop it, it could, you know, light your house on fire. I don't know. I don't have the original packaging, but I thought somewhere in here is supposed to be like a safety if it, uh, just shock from it dropping and turn it off. But I don't. I don't see that happening, so I can't say that. In my opinion, it should be more like a safety lighter, you know, the camp style lighter, where you pull a trigger. I think that the power button should be right here. And then you just slide up, or you like you push in for your safety, and then you slide up to ignite it, not that little dinky. I don't know, it's it's just a nitpick, it's not a big deal, but it's just my opinion. I wish it wouldn't I don't know. I just don't see the point of having that lock, like Right there. I don't know. I just think it's kind of silly design. Another thing is, this thing knocks over super easy. I sit down like this, it'll fall over. Like, you have to make sure it's flat. On a flat surface. Okay? And then, you know, if, if it barely gets bumped, it will knock over. So, um, one thing I usually do is I have a little cup somewhere. Like a shot glass, which I don't know where it went. And I didn't use it for a shot glass, so I don't know what's up with that, but something like this. Stick it in there. No, that's a bad idea. Um here we go. This is what I was talking about. It's from Enchanted Forest. There. It sits in there like that. You can You can bump it and it will fall over, but hey, at least I don't know. It's helping a little bit. But yeah, that's basically my, my two uh, minor gripes is that tips over easy and uh, the buttons, you know, are a little cumbersome, but not a big deal. Other than that, it's a great little tool. Everybody that, that deals with fire should have one. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll light a bowl with it. I guess why well, not? Okay. Another thing that's kind of a negative, not really a big negative, but <clears throat> of course it's, you know, here's my little hand. It's uh, it's a little, you know, big. So unless, unless you know, this is something you leave in your your office, your your toolbox, or whatever. You don't really want to carry this around with you all day to lighten your whatever cigarettes, which you can do it. A friend of mine was uh, was obsessed with this thing, lighten his everything. Me, I, I like to use it for for bowls, but or projects. But I don't smoke cigarettes. I might I might just grab it and just twick fills it like that. Um turn the flame all the way down which it doesn't want to there we go there we go like that and then you can use it for you know cigar but it's still it's still kind of a big flame anyways get this back in here You gotta make sure you have it in the right dial. If you have it of too limp of a flame, it won't fire right up. I'm finally gonna sell my DS today for 30 whopping dollars, even though it's in great shape. Shoot.
can't believe I dropped part of my stuff in there. That's shitty. Anyways, that was my review on a star rating. I would probably give it, uh, let's see, an 8 out of 10. Like, it's a great device, you know. I got it for cheap. Thirty dollars. I wouldn't spend thirty dollars on it, but the most I'd probably spend is fifteen, maybe twenty, depending on how badly I, I needed or wanted one of these. Um, I have dunked it in water and see how much it would resist it. I have dropped my uh, Dejeber in the water, and uh, that still works. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so I've talked on the video long enough. Basically, it's a cool little tool. Get yourself one. See you next time.